A quiet conscience makes one strong. Dead people receive more flowers than the living ones because the regret is stronger than gratitude. Deep down, I know I could never be that innocent again, however much I'd like to be. Despite everything, I believe that people are really good at heart. Don't believe the war is simply the work of politicians and capitalists. Oh, no. The common man is every bit as guilty. Otherwise, people and nations would have rebelled long ago. There's a destructive urge in people. The urge to rage, murder, and kill. And until all of humanity, without exception, undergoes a metamorphosis, wars will continue to be waged, and everything that has been carefully built up, cultivated, and grown will be cut down and destroyed, only to start all over again. Everyone has inside of him a piece of good news. The good news is that you don't know how great you can be, how much you can love, what you can accomplish, and what your potential is. Give and you shall receive much more than you ever thought possible. Give and give again. People who give will never be poor. How noble and good everyone could be if every evening before falling asleep they were to recall to their minds the events of the whole day and consider exactly what has been good and bad. Then, without realizing it, you try to improve yourself at the start of each new day. How wonderful it is that no one has to wait, but can start right now to gradually change the world. Human greatness does not lie in wealth or power, but in character and goodness. People are just people, and all people have faults and shortcomings, but all of us are born with a basic goodness. I believe in the sun, even when it rains. I can shake off everything as I write. My sorrows disappear. My courage is reborn. I don't think of all the misery, but of the beauty that still remains. My advice is go outside to the fields. Enjoy nature and the sunshine. Go out and try to recapture happiness in yourself and in God. Think of all the beauty that's still left in and around you and be happy. I firmly believe that nature brings solace in all troubles. I looked up in the sky and trusted in God. I love you with a love so great that it simply couldn't keep growing inside my heart, but had to leap out and reveal itself in all its magnitude. I think a lot, but I don't say much. I want friends, not admirers. People who respect me for my character and my deeds, not my flattering smile. The circle around me would be much smaller, but what does that matter, as long as they're sincere? I wish to go on living even after my death. I've found that there is always some beauty left in nature, sunshine, freedom, in yourself. These can all help you. In spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. I simply can't build up my hopes on a foundation consisting of confusion, misery, and death. 
I see the world gradually being turned into a wilderness. I hear the ever-approaching thunder, which will destroy us too. I can feel the sufferings of millions, and yet, if I look up into the heavens, I think that it will all come right, that this cruelty too will end, and that peace and tranquility will return again. In the long run, the sharpest weapon of all is a kind and gentle spirit. Laziness may appear attractive, but work gives satisfaction. Live with the objective of being happy. Look at how a single candle can both defy and define the darkness. No one has ever become poor by giving. Our lives are fashioned by our choices. First, we make our choices. Then our choices make us. Parents can only advise their children or point them in the right direction. Ultimately, people shape their own characters. People who give will never be poor. The best remedy for those who are afraid, lonely, or unhappy is to go outside. The only way to truly know a person is to argue with them, for when they argue in full swing, then they reveal their true character. The question is very understandable, but no one has found a satisfactory answer to it so far. Yes, why do they make still more gigantic planes, still heavier bombs, and, at the same time, prefabricated houses for reconstruction? Why should millions be spent daily on the war, and yet there's not a penny available for medical services, artists, or for poor people? Why do some people have to starve, while there are surpluses rotting in other parts of the world? Oh, why are people so crazy? There's one golden rule to keep before you. Laugh about everything and don't bother yourself about the others. Think of all the beauty still left around you and be happy. Those who have courage and faith shall never perish in misery. We can't control our destiny, but we can control who we become. We're all alive, but we don't know why or what for. We're all searching for happiness. We're all leading lives, which are different and yet the same. What a wonderful thought it is that some of the best days of our lives haven't even happened yet. What is done cannot be undone, but one can prevent it happening again. Where there's hope, there's life. It fills us with fresh courage and makes us strong again. Whoever is happy will make others happy. Why should some people have such a hard time during their few years on this earth? Writing in a diary is a really strange experience for someone like me. Not only because I've never written anything before, but also because it seems to me that later on neither I nor anyone else will be interested in the musings of a 13-year-old schoolgirl. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I feel like writing. You can always, always give something, even if it's a simple act of kindness. If everyone were to give in this way and didn't scrimp on kindly words, 
there would be much more love and justice in the world.